up on the fly. Just want to see how it's going to go. Uh, got a little. All right. Remember when you were young, guys? <laughs> I like that. That's that's a that's an artist I've been following for a while now. Well, this literally like this week, Brett Brett Denon, pretty good. Uh, anyway, we got a a mental toughness lesson for you all today out there, and uh, it's actually a big coaching mistake I made this past uh, week with one of my students, Michael, who's really good, dedicated player. Uh, he's become like a solid. Oh, cool! We have people joining. Become like a solid three-five player. I, I really like the guy. He works real hard. He's got a just a great work ethic. He has actually lost two hundred pounds, um, and so he's somebody that when you tell him to do something, you tell him to run through a brick wall. He'll run through a brick wall. And he, uh, when we started, probably like a year ago, he was maybe like a two five three zero. Oh. He was rusty. He had decent strokes. Now his strokes really look pretty. Solid three five but he has trouble with consistency. So we set up a game to where we were rallying cross court. So we're going cross court and you got to put the ball past the service line. So I think it's important once you guys start to, uh, you know, feel good about your strokes, cross court shots are really awesome, you know, to, to get in a groove, but too many people I think go out there and just hit cross courts, you know, for 15, 20 minutes and go to the other cross court, then take some volleys, all that kind of stuff. That's like a typical practice session and it's a lot of fun and it definitely has its place. But once you feel like you're kind of getting grooved on your strokes, just don't keep going out there and getting grooved on your strokes. Um, make sure that you are, and I see that we got people joining the, I didn't know how this hangout was going to go, but I see we have people joining. I know you can comment somewhere, but if you're commenting and I don't answer you, I'm not being rude. I just don't know where they are. So <laughs> Uh, maybe someone, well, I guess if I can't see your comments that you would maybe not even be able to know where to tell me to go. All right. I got like a little chat thing I just opened up. So I have a chat. I have a group chat. If you want to ask questions. Anyway, I want to stay on, I want to stay on point here though. So we're, we're, we're doing this new game though, to work on mental toughness. So we go to where we hit the ball cross court and he's got to make five balls in a row. All right. So you've got to make five in a row to um to win a point and we play a full set that way so if he makes five in a row he's up 15 love if if he misses any of those five within those five he's down 15 love and we play a full set and i know it doesn't sound like a lot of balls to keep five in a row in but actually it's tough it's it's, it's harder than you, than it sounds so i just challenge you to go out there and do it so we're doing this game five in a row the first week he loses 6-0, and he wasn't winning many, many points in, in the games either. He goes back. He, he said he worked a lot on the ball machine. He hit with people. He was working on the drill. We, we play the game. I'm getting a call from somebody. I'm going to have to call them back. We, we play the game, and uh, I can tell already he's doing much better. I can tell the strokes look better. He's consistent. He's getting mostly to four, and then he's missing on that fifth shot. Like, he'll do four perfect shots and then have you ever been there where you get nervous on that last shot and misses the last shot so i i was like uh oh and then we we the game almost went to deuce and he lost so he's down one zero but i could see okay he's doing much better then the next game he's doing really good he's starting i think he gets up maybe like 30 love then it goes to 30 all then 30 40 then deuce so big point and i asked him mike do you want to do uh where we go sudden death or you want to play deuce ad and he goes, I want to do sudden death. I want the pressure. So I'm like, all right, cool. This guy, this guy has his mind in the right place. He knows it's a pressure drill. He wants the pressure. So we do that rally, and he wins the point and gets up to four. And I'm like, all right, come on. And then the fifth shot was like solid. It was perfect. Didn't choke at all. It didn't get lucky. Solid. I was so proud of him. So I got really super pumped up. I'm like, yeah, baby. You know, and he gets pumped up. I was like, yeah. So we're, we're pumped up. And, and uh, I'm like, man, that's a 100% improvement from last week. What do you think happened the next game? What, if you guys are out there, if you guys can leave a chat comment there. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll leave like, uh, hi, can you see this? 
Again, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this thing here, so I just, let me know. You can chat there, group chat going on. Um, so what do you think he did the next, the next couple of games? He literally lost those games like love 40, right? And when he started to lose those first couple of points, I started to feel bad. I'm like, you know what? I totally blew that for us. I totally blew that. That was some bad coaching. And why was it bad coaching? Because I didn't act like he had been there before. And because of that, he kind of was like, I haven't been here before. And started on charter territory. I got excited. I won that. And he didn't know how to handle it once he won that one game. Right? So he ended up losing the set. Uh, 6-2 and I told him that that was my fault that I got too excited and um, you know it was it was on me and and uh, I told him the story and I'm gonna see if I can share the screen here because I I told him the story of when the Chicago Bulls uh, played the Indiana Pacers I don't know if you guys remember that but the Chicago Bulls played the Indiana Pacers and I think it went seven games, but there was one game where Reggie Miller hit the game-winning shot. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can find the part in that video that I want you guys to watch. So um, just give me a couple seconds here while I'm doing that. Yeah, there it is right there. And I'm going to try and show you guys this video. Again, uh, apologize. I'm kind of experimenting today, so apologize if I totally mess up stuff. I'm going to try and share the screen. Uh, I want to share the entire screen. And I'm going to share it. And now I'm going to go over here. No, not there. I'm going to go here. Okay, so watch this, guys. So Reggie Miller is going to get the ball. So I don't know how that came out or not. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys could see that. If you guys could leave a comment. You may be new to the chats too. So uh, leave, leave a comment in the chat section. If you could see that. Was it too loud? I don't know how that worked. But hopefully you could see Reggie Miller hitting a three-pointer and then jumping around like a maniac, right? He went, he went crazy. And I remember after that game, Larry Bird got so mad at Reggie Miller. He's like, yeah, it was a good game, but, you know, our, our, our superstar acted a fool after we won. And he wasn't happy because, you know, Larry Bird was a champion and he knew what it took to win a championship. And to win a championship, you have to act like you know how to win a championship, even if you've never had before. You have to believe that this is this is your time. And, and to just win a game without winning the championship and jump around like you won the championship, especially I know um, Reggie Miller at that point, had a uh, his leg was really bad so he was kind of like hopping around the whole game and then all of a sudden he's jumping around you know like a spring chicken and going crazy and and of course they lost game seven and i think it was an actual blowout i don't even think it was close and uh so that was that was a lesson learned there is you know if even if you're playing somebody who you think is better than you or maybe you're uh, uh about to win a tournament that you had never won before don't start, or you took a set off with somebody. Don't start acting like like you don't belong there. Uh, you need to stay calm. It, it may enter your mind like, oh, I've never been here before. So that's okay. That's normal. That's natural. But what you have to do is then turn off that, you know, automatic emotion of like, oh, my God, I've, I've never been here before. This is so exciting. Or, oh, I'm so nervous. Or I don't know if I can do this. You just have to, you know, be like, all right, I'm a champion, you know. I, I, this is this is normal. This is what's going to happen today. I'm, I'm going to pull this out. And, and so that's the lesson for today. I just wanted to do this quick hangout. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and keep doing this. I'm going to play it back and see how it came out. I, I have no idea how this came out for you guys. But I wanted to do this kind of stuff uh, so I can just get, get in closer contact with people following me on YouTube. I appreciate everybody, all the support I've gotten on, on YouTube over the last year or so. And uh, that's it. I'm ending the broadcast, and I'm curious to see how this came out.